treat time. So healthy with a little bit of not healthy. So I've just got some strawberries and some figs, um, some melted organic dark chocolate. Um, for anyone that's got a sweet tooth and in the evening comes in after dinner, just fancies, you know, a, a sweet treat. Um, I love having these in the fridge, you know, as a, as a nice little treat. You only really need one, maybe two, um, but at least you're kind of getting the benefit of some fruit along the way instead of just eating a whole bar of chocolate or, or you know, a box of jammy dodgers or jaffa cakes, depending on what your favourites are. With it, you can add whatever you want to in, in, into them. So on this occasion, um, I've got some chopped almonds, um, some coconut, and also some hemp seeds as well. So all I've done is, is literally um, melt some dark chocolate, which you can either do in the microwave or just do over a hot pan um, by placing the bowl over to uh, a boiling hot water, um, a pan of hot boiling water. I'm not a huge fan of microwaves, um, but for some people it's just convenient and, and, and stuff as well. So literally that's melted. Um, and all you want to do, very, very simple, is just dip your figs um, into the chocolate. I've kind of let the chocolate cool down a little bit as well, um, so that's kind of covered. You know, I drop it now. Um, I'm just going to give a good stir of all the almonds and, and everything else that I've mixed into the bowl, and then literally I just kind of scoop it in um, and use the spoon and then cover them. So very, very simple. And then just put them onto some baking paper. Um, takes a little while for them to sink. You need a bit of weight behind them so that eventually that will kind of drop down. Um, and that's all you do. You literally just cover them um, with chocolate. You can use dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate. Um, it's entirely up to you depending on, on what you prefer. And again, none of this stuff that I do has to be perfect. You know, it's not about it being Instagram perfect for pictures and, and, and stuff as well. It's about experimenting and kind of learning your food and, you know, what are healthier alternatives than coming home and eating a bag of crisps, um, you know, or a whole box of um, biscuits. And again, just sprinkle the strawberries. Um, again, these are one of my boys' favourites and it's something that they always ask. Um, for when they come home and I'd prefer them to have this than kind of like a pre-made children's snack because again you know if you really do read the back of ingredients and food there's a lot of things in there that you know are nasties as we call them um, and in my day they definitely didn't exist half of these ingredients um, that you now find you know in, in, in the food so again just coat the strawberries this one's mine so I'm putting extra old fatty Thomas likes her chocolate so there we go just kind of sprinkle it um, again I love chai seeds so sometimes I'll just coat these with chai seeds um, some bits fall off but don't worry because you know you can eat those bits as well after um, you can either leave it on the side to cool down or literally put it in the fridge for half an hour um, or if you're really in a rush and you're doing this for a dinner party or a barbecue um, just put it in the freezer for 10 minutes and then into the fridge and it kind of sets it but as you can see you know bits will drop off but like I say it doesn't have to be perfect um, all these things are fun you know if you have got children you know or nieces and nephews or anything like that you know all of this stuff is absolutely amazing to make with them yes it's messy but you know for kids being able to be involved in the kitchen you know, it's fantastic and, it, and it's great to see them kind of build confidence with food as well. So this will be my last one because I'm kind of running out of space in the bowl. So literally going to cover this strawberry. There we go. Place that in. And then if you've got any leftovers, um, you can literally just kind of tip it in because it will stick to it. And also, because it's been mixed with the chocolate, these little bits will go hard in the fridge. Um, and my boys love to pick all these little bits out. It's a bit like when I was younger, when you wanted to lick the spoon of when you're making cakes with your mum or dad. So literally, that all goes in. And again, like I say, you can add absolutely anything to this. So that's those. They'll go into the fridge for about 20 minutes to half an hour just to kind of set and then they're going to be ready to have with a nice herbal tea, evening snack, 
um, or a little treat or even a little present you know there's nothing much nicer than making something for someone um, and for those of you that kind of struggle with ideas making things like this and putting them into a nice little box is so rewarding and the person receiving them is going to be blown away as well so us guys are going to have a huge feast in about half an hour because everything's kind of getting ready now um, with all the bits that we've cooked today so we'll come back to these in a bit and i'll show you what they look like <laughs> 